Hey, hey, hey! Hey everyone, welcome back to my 28 to 30 week pregnancy update. Um, it is now, I'm on my 30th week and I just realized that I have not, in the past couple of videos, I haven't done a bump shot. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is show you my belly. So I'm at 30 weeks right hey. now. So check it out. Hello, baby. Yes, there it is. So that's what it looks like in 30 weeks. But let me catch you up what I've been up to. Um, starting with 28 weeks from two weeks ago. Uh, 28 weeks, the baby is about 14 inches long, 14.8 inches long, two and a quarter pounds, and about a size of an eggplant. The baby could blink his eyes, develop, and he's developing eyelashes and adding more baby fat. And then at 29 weeks, of course the baby's growing, so it's now at 15 inches and about two and a half pounds and the size of a butternut squash, which really feels dense and uh, rolling around in my belly. Um, the baby's growing, the skeleton is hardening, the muscles are growing, Definitely more blood being pumped in. So now, 21, 29 weeks last week was the time where I really felt like my body, the baby was draining the nutrients from my body. So I really had to double up on protein, calcium, vitamin C, iron, folic acid, and, um, and I would get a B12 shot um, just because I just really felt all of a sudden it's like baby is just drinking up all my nutrients so but once I started getting on that and started doubling down on that I felt so much better um, and then this week I'm at 30 weeks so I am officially in the third trimester um, starting at 28 weeks so I'm about at seven months um, I am so excited because this is home stretch final stretch um, and the baby's about 15.7 inches long and about three pounds the size of a cabbage. It's growing hair, the eyes are blinking, it could vaguely detect light through my belly. I know the sensory is developed for sure because it listens to music and um, it moves and reacts to music and voices, which is really, really cool. Um, so where I'm at now, what I've been up to is last week we took a trip to Boracay. Um, I actually wanted to do a baby moon with my husband, but his schedule is so complicated. So I just took my baby ace and I said, you are going to be my baby moon and you're going to be coming with me. And, uh, and then my husband joined us for a weekend, like literally overnight. But I really had a great time with ace because... I felt like, oh, it's going to be the last time that I really get to connect with him one-on-one -on -one and have that time with us. And it was his first time to the beach like that, really playing with sand and discovering sand and just, just seeing his face. And um, we went to a beach called Boracay here in the Philippines. And uh, his favorite part about Boracay was riding the tricycles. Every time he got on a tricycle, he was like super smiley. And um, he just kept laughing and laughing. So I just thought, like, it's just so funny how things that we take for granted, they absolutely enjoy and they absolutely love. Um, aside from that, that was a fun trip. A little hectic, but, you know, it was so worth it. Came back. Now I am full on in the third trimester. So how am I feeling physically? Like I said, I'm feeling drained. I'm feeling tired. Um, but I really had to, I really have to pay attention to my nutrients, uh, nutritional needs in the third trimester. Um, all throughout your pregnancy, but I feel like more so now, I am making sure I get enough of my supplements. I also make sure I get a green juice every day, double down on my vegetables, and have more proteins. Um, smaller portions, but more like five times a day. So that'll keep me steady. Um, mentally, I am wrapping my head around the birth. Uh, although this is my second time around, I still feel like 
I'm going through it again for the first time. It's kind of weird. Like, I'm watching videos and I am just wrapping my head around the idea of giving birth again. Um, so this time around I have to give birth uh, via cesarean section because in my first birth uh, with Ace, um, I had originally planned a water birth, but the, things didn't turn out as planned. So, um, to make a long story short, I had to have an emergency C-section, which was fine with me. I didn't have any issues about it. But now, because it's so close, um, Ace is going to be 18 months old when I give birth. Um, I was advised by my doctors to do uh, another cesarean because it's too close to do a VBAC. So, and I'm totally fine with it, okay? For me, it's like the safest way to get the baby out. Um, it, it's totally fine with me. And of course, I mean, as, as much as organic and natural and all that stuff I'd like to do, I mean, I am grateful for medical intervention because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been able to get Ace out the first time. So I am grateful for that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've been watching videos and shout out to Teresa Palmer, your Zen Mama, and Mama Natural, Genevieve, and uh, reading books on, even if it's natural birthing, or women who thought they were going to have a natural birth that went and had a completely different plan. I find your stories so inspiring, and, um, and I hope we could just continue to inspire each other, because, you know, motherhood is such a beautiful journey, and... Um, and, and I just want to share the experience with, with other women and other mothers going through the same thing because, you know, after all, it's like we share the same experiences. You'll be surprised. We have a lot more in common than we are different. So having said that, um, I love being inspired by other stories, other videos. So if you have any suggestions or advice for me, please, please give it on the comment below. This is going to be my second baby. Um, so I, I need advice on how to balance um, two babies that are 18 months apart. So if you are in the same position, please give me a shout out. So I went by physically, mentally, and now emotionally. How am I feeling? Okay, good. Um, hormones are going crazy. Uh, the struggle is real and things that don't normally bother me all of a sudden tick me off and I just can't control it and then I will go off and uh, it's so frustrating and then I could see myself going through this frustrating, you know, time. It's so weird. It's like I'm starting to seriously act that cr act like that crazy pregnant lady and that I don't normally, I'm not normally like that. So if I come across um, as moody or erratic, I want to apologize in advance. You know, I'm seven months pregnant and I am one hormone level away from smacking someone's face <laughs> if, if they just, you know, irritate the hell out of me. So I'm just being real. Um, or maybe I'll just walk away, but please don't take it personally. I'm just like on a hormone trip right now. Um, so that's where I'm at emotionally. And spiritually, I am maintaining my yoga practice and um, trying to get in two to three times a week. Because I'm also doing Pilates three times a week at Vivian Zapata. So I'm really excited about that. But doing yoga and practicing yoga, it does remind me and it does help with hormones and calming me down. Um, and it just reminds me to also be in the moment, be present as much as like, you know, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to get this, I got to prepare for this, I got to buy this, blah, 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 gotta, 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 gotta. My spiritual practice really grounds me and brings me back to the present moment and what's most important. So I'm maintaining my yoga practice and I you know, remind, I try to remember to do my gratitude practice right before I go to bed. Really simple, you know, five things I'm grateful for in my life every day. And I feel like every time I do that at night, right before I go to bed, it puts my mind in a really good space. So when I fall asleep, I fall asleep with a smile on my face. And I really, really like that. 
So that's how I'm fe feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And then what else is going on? So right now it's the Christmas season. It's the holiday season here in the Philippines. I have my tree up and I just got my beautiful wreath. I don't know if you can see it. I love it. And um, I'm getting into the whole spirit of Christmas, which I love because my husband and I, we, we love, we both come from big families and we love entertaining. We love cooking. Um, we just like spending time with family. And, um, you know, we're not very materialistic in a sense of like, I have to get this present or that present. I mean, we're very relaxed about it. Um, but having said that, you know, we like to be thoughtful and give things and experiences and memories. Um, so I, I'm more about that. I'm more about giving experiences than giving material things. So my close family and friends, that's what you're going to expect from me. But also being seven months pregnant, I have to be smart about it. I don't want to be in a mall with thousands of people. And I can't really walk around because my feet hurt. So I'm learning to just be creative and um, utilize technology, shop online as much as I can. And uh, yeah, and just, you know, making use of technology and services and things that will leave a memorable and meaningful experience in people's lives. So that's where I'm at. So as far as holiday parties, I try to attend. As much as I can, my intention is there, but with a one-year-old and being seven months pregnant, I apologize in advance if I happen to fall asleep at nine o'clock. Sorry. Um, I really try. I really do. But sometimes I'll fall asleep, like, dressed with makeup on. I can't help it. I really can't. Um, uh, yeah, so if I'm there, then great. Let's celebrate. Let's have a good time. But if I'm not there, I'm so sorry. Um, but that's it for now, and I also want to um, remind everyone, I will be announcing the winner for the holiday giveaway um, on December 15th. So make sure you tune in again, because I will announce it on the video where it says giveaway. Um, who will be the winner? All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, post five things you need on your registry, and post information on how I can get in touch with you, whether it's through your social media, email, however you need me to get in touch with you. And I will make the announcement on the 15th. Okay, so that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, I would love, 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 love to hear from you. Please comment below. Um, if you need to reach me on social media, I'm Teresa Herrera 27 on Twitter, Instagram. And I'm also on Facebook. I'll put all the links below. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope everyone's having a great start to their holiday season. I will post another video again next week and catch you up and let you know what we've been up to. Okay, so again, this is Teresa. If you tuned in, if this is your first time, welcome. And if you've been tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means a lot. If you like this video, press like button and subscribe for future videos and I will be launching new series coming soon so make sure you subscribe okay so until next time peace out thanks guys talk to you soon bye